Welcome in once again to the YGO Fresh Off the Press community, where we analyze the current polls, trends, and forecast of the Yu-Gi-Oh markets. We hit to feed uh, the endless eternal Yu-Gi-Oh cardboard market watch addiction. Guys, you guys already know. Welcome in, man. Channel continues to inkle its way to 4.1k. It's all thanks to you guys. Guys, join the movement. Make sure you subscribe. Don't miss out. Ring that bell so you can stay tuned for a fresh off the press content and participate in our channel giveaways immediately we have phantom nightmare the latest and greatest corsair release cards came and went feels like everyone forgot about these already yeah you see them topping the best deck in the meta this that and the other but yeah qcsrs are here they're around three hundos for a uh, promethean princess you got two hundos for low and 175s for snake eyes popular and you know it continues going down from there now this one you bell is actually spiking up in price as a QCSR. We see it used to be 86 billies. Wow, sub triple digits, and now this U Bell hype is insane. It is 14 listings. I wouldn't be surprised to see this be 200 hours, man, sooner rather than later. Look at that V shape, just clear V shape recovery into all time highs. Price discovery mode. You, you can't, I mean, who's gonna catch this chart? 175s in the near term a lot of one of those like maybe the two of there that deal but a lot of one of eventually it'll be 190s and then 200 dollars because the hype is here man you bell hype is here a lot of people want to play this it's a fan favorite uh deck archetype hadn't received support in years and years and years so it's understandable qcsr version is pumping in price guys then we have promethean princess bestower of flames like the name like the name hey crashing into the dumpsters falling knife mode i won't lie this is this was unexpected guys it was 30s a little bit of consolidation is like nah this is still too expensive here we have this card for 26 dollars barely holding on to that price here uh one of two ofs and uh honestly i didn't think this price yes is an ultra rare but this low i mean man crazy how's this car that how this card has dumbed down 95 listings as we can see almost pushing into that triple digi mark with the amount of listings the supply is here this card um is easier to get than people thought um the demand is there but not enough to keep this price um this card's price up there and oh the princess is cheap man it's good if you need it at this price that's not bad could it go into the teens it's possible but if you i'm not talking even as an investment but if you need the card around 25 dollars man maybe you can get a deal around 20s of locals it's not bad it's not bad honestly then we have poppy Poppy's another one that's still dumping down into the dumpsters, guys. As we can see, crashing down hard. It falling knife mode, man. This card was $75 on release, almost 80s. Wow. Dumped down to 30s, low 30s recently. But here we see $23 for this card. And you actually got a four of here, too. That's crazy. An eight wall at 25s over 100 listings already wow this card has dumped down like shh, this was i didn't see this coming guys i mean i thought that the man would keep this card up around you know at least 40s maybe mid 30s but 20 mid 20s mid to low 20s wow wow the supply is coming in for this but same deal if you need it get it you know what i mean yes could it go into the teens short but these all these cards promethean poppy you, you never know man v-shape recovery could be around the corner you want to play it safe as an investment i would wait for the falling knife you know mode to to finish see some consolidation but if it's to play man i might consider it 23 24 dollar poppies it's not bad maybe 20 dollars at locals grab a deal that's good man i like it i like it great pickup in my opinion we have Safira, dragon queen of the voices voice now this card a lot of consolidation a lot of consolidation sideways Dumping down a little bit to an all-time low. Barely holding on to double digits. But that's one ofs, man. There's The walls are almost pushing 11s with the R09. And uh, 56 listings, I like this one. I like this one. Around $10, again, to play. If you're planning to play this card, $10 a pop. Maybe $25 for a place of that locals. Grab a deal, man. Like, Jay, what locals you go to, man? You think there's always deals out there. But hopefully you guys are having fun with it. Around $10, I like this card. I do, I do. I definitely be considering it yeah, i see consolidation sideways yes a little bit of a dump recently but not that strong so 
this is when i would buy before that next spike up you know to the previous pivot high of 11 to 12 so who knows maybe even 15 dollars down the line you don't want to be that guy paying that premium we have low the prayers of the voices voice talked about this one recently not going to go into too much detail to detail but man it's decision time look we have an uptrend here with higher lows but we have a downtrend here with lower highs so this is a point of confluence guys man the charts they always give that information point of confluence right here this is the middle ground you know what this is called decision time that's what's going to happen pretty soon it's gonna have to make a decision either dumps back down and revisit 67s or the previous all-time lows at 62s or it's gonna pump back up to 75s eventually 80s and beyond and probably head up to triple digits so i mean it is it's point of confluence guys it's time it's time for it to make a decision the higher the, the the higher lows and the lower highs someone has to give something has to give and i'm excited to see which direction you know this chart goes and the, this card's prices uh, price goes and we'll be here to keep you guys informed 70 dollars right now 70 billies flat 60s in the is the low range 80s is the high range right now we're literally at the middle is decision time you know if you see it at 75 towards 80s and triple digits might be around the corner if you see it 65 to 60s then we might uh, dump back down no maybe even make an all-time low at 50 dollars so 43 listings make sure you keep the secret rare in mind we have vados the eruption dragon of extinction wow this one v-shaped recovered from 1650s almost to 19s or 20s you do see a curvature strong curvature here after the spike up off the all-time low down you know retracing the 1638s and uh yeah, I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. I actually see as the supply comes in, people that wanted it already have it. You know, to see this go down, maybe even a 15s, that could be a great entry price that I would be keeping an eye out for. Um, but yeah, 49 listings here. Uh, yeah, some sales coming in. And I love the artwork of this card. I will not lie. And you have you Bell, the loving defender forever. We talked about the QCSR. Now we have the regular version spiking up like crazy to 20 billies a pop insane now we're retracing the 1650s here same deal with this one um if you can get it at 15s that's when i would dig in you know and get that exposure 68 listings just wow the man has been going parabolic price action has followed and now we're getting this retracement back down to the mean how low could it go 15s 14 15s to the previous pivot high that's where i would be buying you know based on the charts that's just me um and uh guys men lie women lie the charts don't lie we buy we buy based on the charts look at that previous pivot high that's where you want to buy if the retracement goes that down as low but i wouldn't even wait for 14 14 29 so at 15s i'm gonna buy for this car due to the crazy demand going on and the expectations that people have once the new support comes out then we have goblin biker big gabonga this card spiked up from the all-time low strong from four dollars and 43 cents almost 750s almost giving you that what 0.75 x give or take you know now retracing back down to the scene of the crime where everything went you know started where this previous spike started wow back down here even some deals under four billies that's not bad that is not bad a couple of one ofs then the places are pushing fives almost sixes guys so if you need this card based on the charts this could technically be a double bottom w shape recovery double bottom here this could be the second part of the w you have the first one here and then the second one before that respike to the previous pivot high maybe even higher to the double digits you guys want to keep an eye out for this card then we have horus still not money this one's dumping down this one's crashing you know um in falling knife mode why because people that need to get it most people just need one you know as ones maybe twos max you see a lot of one ofs here and there um around two dollars not bad to get some exposure honestly you know a secret rare from phantom nightmare you never know you never know most people don't need play sets of this but you never know how the meta shifts how the game changes and two dollars for a secret rare phantom nightmare that shouldn't get reprinted anytime soon i really do like this card then we have emp meow mine this one okay new all-time low right here but you see a little bit of a curvature here let's see if we can see it on the monthly not yet but here i mean just consolidation two dollars that's not bad you need this card get the exposure fours threes and beyonds you don't want to be that guy damn they changed the shipping that's why it looks weird yeah tcg player bumped up the shipping from um to one dollar and 22 cents um man that's a lot mm. i mean uh yeah so guys uh meow mine here around two billies that is not bad to get some exposure to the card we have iron thunder from uh, phantom nightmare this counter trap secret rare 
here continues to hover just below five billies a pop i mean that's just ones and two us with the walls yeah 492 right here the wall of china same deal all time low right now you see consolidation this is when you want to come in this is when you want to come in and get the exposure that you've been waiting for phantom nightmare has already been out for a week or two a couple of weeks this is when you want to come in when the hype has died down the supply shock is here everyone that needed stuff already got them you know you see that consolidation that's when you want exposure to a card like this we have raid raptors guys going all over the place rising rebellion falcon from phantom nightmare but how many stars it doesn't even fit in there what rank is this this is rank 15 i mean you know, that's crazy level 13 that's insane yo a rank 13 <laughs> Yo, I know, oh my goodness. This is ultra rare. I mean, look at that. Mm. Mm -mm. V shape, man. This is a U shape recovery, honestly. Like a U, wee. You know, so the previous highs were what? Double digits, you know, right under tens. And uh, yeah, look, let's clean this up. Janitor style. We do see a couple of listings. That's a deal, obviously. But really, $5.20. Then six is quickly. I have a 12 wall here. So it's six to sevens right now. 24 listings. You can see the spike here. Um, and look, people coming in paying seven dollars for this. I wouldn't be surprised to see this card at double digits. If you're playing Raid Raptors, Jay, I'm playing Raid Raptors. I saw a regional result, and I want to pick up the deck. I wouldn't be waiting around. I would come in here, get this card from five to sixes, get your copy, get that exposure, so you can live to fight another day. Guys, link in the description down below. Don't forget, fifteen dollars off any purchase over here and whatnot. You know, based on credit, you get fifteen dollars credit on the platform. Look at that you have cards like bonfires you can get 15 dollars off over here just search anything regarding Yu-Gi-Oh or anything you want on the platform you get that 15 dollars credit join in join the movement don't miss out be like most of these people you know in the community that are actually taking advantage of this discount code one click gets you in link in the description down below it can't get any easier than that to get cheaper cardboard guys discord over 300 people don't miss out join the movement one click gets you in and uh, make sure you check out our podcast if you haven't done so already. And the friends of the channel, these guys are amazing. Guys, guys, destroy that like and subscribe button. Ring that bell as it really does help out the channel. Keeps you guys informed, participating in our channel giveaways, and helps out the channel as well. Can't get any better than that. None of this content is official financial advice. It's for entertainment purposes only. Okay, so in the first part of this market watch, we went over cards that most people have been keeping in mind. Most people knew, you know, Promethean and you know, a Sephira and low and, you know, and Poppy and all these cards is easy, easy pickings. We know to keep our eyes on cards out for cards like that. We get it. That's the easy work. That's the easy work guys. But the harder work where the research comes in is finding cards and gems inside the set that no one's looking at. Of course, common is a common usually has limited, um, range, um, when it comes to, you know, uh, going up and, and, a maximum uh, price of this card i mean you know commons usually tend to stay below a billy that's for the most part yeah there's some exceptions commons that are hard to get or needed okay we get it but look dark guardian who's talking about this card who's talking about this common? i'm not gonna say is the the end all be all card it is a common but it's just one to keep in mind look at this card i mean look at it how many stars is that 13 that's four eight that's 12 in this case what is going on with all these printed cards with stars guys but look at that again new support for um Kazajin, sangen sujin those monsters no one's looking at this common right now all time low a couple of cents but you never know commons like these that are very deck specific that are single print look this is a single print from this set who knows when this card is going to get reprinted dark guardian i like it look at that eight guardian support right there right there hey hey not too much else to say we also have sorcerer of sebek a card that people were looking for um to come out it came out as a common so people had higher expectations no one's paying attention to this card for the most part yes it is a common at around so a couple of shekels this is the shekels part of the market watch guys that's good i mean if this is what a nickel and it goes up to 10 cents that's a double up man you never know maybe at locals you need to trade this and it could keep going up to 15 20 cents you never know as a common just wanted to highlight um cards like these that not too many people are paying attention to look easy to make a uh, link to right there two effect monsters i guess it this works with um maybe with aromas because i see life points and things of that nature but it's one to keep in mind we obviously have mutamorphosis this is a secret rare you know it's one that can has continued to dumb down into all-time lows falling knife mode 
for this one two dollars and fifty cents that's not bad to get some exposure and then it quickly becomes three billies for this card right here and uh yeah i like this one a lot of one ups a lot of one ups so don't get it twisted this card will be five dollars before you know it 67 listings love the artwork of this card just love it just love it honestly like i just look at this card and it looks beautiful it does it does we have carnet the eternal machine an ultra rare guys ultra rare look at that cannot be normal summon to send must first be special summon from your hand or graveyard during during a duel in which your opponent has activated a monster effect in their hand or graveyard you can always be summon once per turn once per turn if your opponent activates a monster effect you can make this card gain a thousand attack if this card is sent to the graveyard except from the hand or deck shuffle the card into the deck okay so that's a 3k beat stick that can gain a thousand attack okay okay and then it's a special something it's free as what four that's a level 10 i think so wow it's pretty cool man level 10 i like consolidating here smart people coming in and buying this card up down here on the low lows yes you do have massive walls of china we get it 118 listings but as an ultra rare man a couple of billies here and there you can get a, a play set or two of this ultra rare just set it to the side as you never know this is pure gambling or speculation in that sense um you never know as an ultra rare it might be a billion beyond one day i like this one we have berserk arch fiend another common here you can target up to two face up monsters you control including a fiend monster special summon this card from your hand and if you do destroy those monsters that's very good that's very good you know is this using unchained i mean this is good when a monster or maybe you bell as well when a monster is destroyed by this card effect you can target face up monster your opponent controls equal to the number what this card gains attack equal to their combined original attack wow i like it i like it as a common i like it look at that look at that pennies shackles pennies on the dollar right here it's not bad after this video i'm gonna just buy a couple man 10 cents Maybe buy 10 of these why not this is like free free cardboard guys i like it I, you never know man is it likely that this cycles into the meta probably not but i like it man effects like these cards look at it pennies this is the pure definition of a penny stock if it hits three cents you're up three x let's go it's too easy let's get it man let's get it let's get it you have terrors of the after rule this is a super rare guys this consolidating consolidating down here at the shekels range 12 cents 12 to 14 cents with over a thousand copies man the wall of china are big for this one 183 listings so the supply is out just exposure a play set doesn't hurt a couple of shekels here and there just get your play set and forget about it you never know if you're going to need this card now we have emissary from the house of wax love this artwork who's talking about this card no one look at that when an opponent's monster declares an attack you can spread some of this card from your hand already free special when an attack declaration occurs you can only use this effect once per turn if this card battles a monster neither can be destroyed by that battle mm. at the end of your opponent's battle phase you can activate this effect until the start of your opponent's next battle phase all attack position monsters your opponent con currently controls cannot change their battle positions nor can be used as material for fusion synchro x or link summon also their effects are negated guys Hi. that's crazy it's crazy that's a full turn because that's until until the start of your opponent's next battle phase including main um their next main phase guys i like this 1800 defense it's an illusion illusion level three illusions will definitely be getting support in the future and look these are things that are sneaked in it's a phantom nightmare latest core set release that no one's paying attention to consolidating here around quarters massive ones of china that makes me happy why because your boy wants exposure you get a billy you get three of these you even pay for taxes and shipping whatever you know billy for a place out of this super rare illusion i like it i like him for phantom nightmare this card could have potential to at least be 50 cents double up 100 percent increase maybe even a billy one day read the effect i like the potential make sure you guys keep this one in mind then we have enigmaster pack bit as a secret rare one of the secret rares that no one's paying attention to and we can see here Look at that around billy's around the billy range 111 listings i like it this is a generic rank i'm sorry level eight synchro monster right there generic this card is synchro summon or sent to the grave you can target one monster in your graveyard or face up monster your opponent discard one card if you do place that monster in its owner spells and trap zone as a face up continuous guys it doesn't target it's just it just does 
You know what I mean? During either player's turn, this card is a continuous trap. You can spell summon one phase of monster card from your spell trap zone. Okay, so again, guys, I like this. I like the secret rare secret right there, water cybers. Um, right now, look, went down to Billy 37s. There's been some sales at $2.49 today. Billy Bob's, you know, they got to come in and pay 2 to 2.5x above MSRP. You know, Billy Bob's, how they do, man. You guys already know. Look at that. 91 cents right there. I like it. Under Billy. But after these are gone, quickly goes up to a Billy 50 and beyond. Guys, this is a secret rare from Phantom Nightmare. A secret rare that no one's looking at right now. That you can come in with a couple of shekels, a couple of billies, and probably multiply that down the line. Um, I like this. I like the secret rare because no one's paying attention to it. Then we have Spirit of You Bell from Phantom Nightmare. So look at it. Look at this spike. Used to be a billion, some change. Wow, spiking up into oblivion. You have a couple of one ofs here, but the R09 is already pushing 250s, man. Honestly, this will be a three billy card before you know it. Probably even fives down the line. 39 listings here. Um, and uh, yeah, clear W shape recovery now. Um, broke the previous pivot high. This card is, man, it's just going to continue on up. Look, people, some people coming in already paying $4 a pop, man. So uh, the, the man is there. The hype is here. Billy Bob's already making moves. You want to make sure that you're early on this one. Then we have Magmacho Dragon. Let's go, man. The last card of the market. Watch. Jay, what is this? Magmacho is in the building here. You can banish up to three fire monsters from your graveyard. This card gains 400 attack for each. That's a 3k beat stick until the end of the turn if a face up fire monster you control is destroyed by a card effect while this card is in your graveyard you can spend some in this card banish it when it leaves the field then draw one i like it i like it i like it man you dump this probably will vol vol volcanics i mean i'm not an expert with that it's already in your grave you pop one of your own cards it comes for free you draw one i like it i like it man i like it as a common a common pyro uh level eight here that no one's looking at that you can also get pennies on the dollar guys true penny stunts guys hopefully you guys are having fun with it guys if you made it this far out into the video you guys are the straight mvps thank you so much for support stay tuned man on friday the plan is to most likely try and get a whatnot stream in um and uh i'll probably be in the discord you know for the members um the sage created a new voice channel um so i'll try and do that and also maybe get a regular a youtube live stream of as well if not friday then saturday but stay tuned that's why you want to have this bell on you know I, i'll try i'm trying to you know eventually fall into a schedule so stay tuned for that coming soon um because i want to start live streaming more consistently um and also i need to make a members video man i'm slacking guys but yeah guys guys I mean, stay tuned what not live stream coming soon a regular youtube live stream coming soon if you made it this far out, man, leave a comment down below because you're just an MVP. Guys, thank you so much for your time, for your support, for your attention. Stay fresh.